I put out a poll asking if you could only choose one brand, which would you choose? Truman, Grant Stone, Parkhurst, or Oak Street? Now the results are pretty shocking, and I'm gonna share with you what those poll results were at the end of this video. But I also wanted to basically break down these different brands because they're really similar in price and construction. They're all really well known, well respected. So I thought it'd be helpful to break down my personal experiences with their best sellers. These are all great boots, so it's really hard to decide. A lot of you guys felt the same exact way. Stick around to the end to see which of these four brands over 400 of you thought was the best. Let me start by saying that as I'm comparing these boots, I'm really just comparing the boots that I have. There are so many variations from even within these models. When comparing these brands, I'm gonna be looking at their best seller. So I have the Truman, this is their 79 last with a Java wax flesh leather. I have the Grandstone Diesel in brown or Crimson Horrorwing Chrome XL. Mm -hmm. I have the Parkhurst Allen. This is in a waxy suede leather. And then I also have the Oak Street Trench Boot in a rough out Horrorwing Chrome XL natural. One of the difficulties I was having trying to compare these brands head to head is that even each of these lines have variations within them. So say for instance, there are Truman boots out there that have a flat welt, some have a split welt, some have a storm welt, and that's just with the 79 last. And that's the same is true for Grant Stone, a little bit for Parkhurst, and then definitely also for Oak Street. So what I'm doing here is I'm really just gonna go off of my own personal experience. I'm sure you can find other people's experiences comparing these brands. I'm just gonna stick to these best sellers and what I have personally experienced. There will be cases in this video where I say something about Truman boots that isn't true on every single one of their boots, but it is true on this pair of boots. And so I'm just gonna stick with that. Otherwise the variations are endless. So we could go way too far down a rabbit hole. The first topic I wanna cover is the construction of these different boots. Now I'll be honest, we're pretty much on a level playing field with all four of these brands. There are some minor differences though that I want to cover. One of the big similarities between all of these boots is that they all are Goodyear welted. They feature vegetable tan leather insoles and leather midsoles. So from a baseline perspective, you're getting really high quality with any of the four brands. Looking a bit closer at the construction, both Grant Stone and Parkhurst have a split welt. Truman features a storm welt, and then the Oak Street Trench has a flat welt. Quite honestly, there's not too much of a practical difference between those three uh, welts, like the split, the storm, and then the flat welt. Technically speaking, the storm welt has the most weather resistance, then followed by the split welt, then followed by the flat welt. But practically, when you are actually out there, if it's raining, having a Goodyear welted boot is going to be that's what you need. It doesn't really make that much of a difference if it's like a split welt or a storm welt. Some people might disagree, but honestly, every anytime I've been in the rain and I'm in North Carolina, it downpours. If I'm wearing a Goodyear welted boot, my feet don't get wet. One major difference though, is that the Oak Street Trench Boot does not have a gusseted tongue, whereas Parkhurst, Grandstone, and Truman, those all have gusseted tongues. I know for a lot of people that can be a deal breaker. I have not noticed that in my Oak Street Trenches, like the tongue does not slide to one side or the other. So it hasn't presented a problem for me, but it's definitely worth noting. Given that the construction quality on these boots is pretty similar. I'm just gonna give you my subjective experience as well and what I think about these boots. To me, both Parkhurst and Truman are a tie at the top in terms of just impeccable craftsmanship. Now for me, one small step below is Grant Stone. One of the biggest deciding factors for that is when I'm just looking at the split welt on the Parkhurst versus the Grant Stone diesel, the Parkhurst is a little bit more cleaned up. There are just some small details on it that just look a little bit more polished. But honestly, like the Grant Stone diesel is a fantastically made boot. There's nothing on this that is wrong at all. It's all really, really really well done and it's miles above I would say even like Red Wing, Wolverine, any of those brands that are similarly priced. Grant Stone is still leagues above that. And then if I had to put one at the bottom, I would say Oak Street is probably the least well constructed. And again, same thing I just said with Grant Stone. When you compare this to a Red Wing, it is definitely a league above that, but it was missing the tongue gusset. And then also in the heel, there are no nails or tacks kind of going through that whole heel stack, which you're gonna see on every other brand. Now, if you like the style of Grant Stone, Truman, Parkhurst, Oak Street, if you like the style of those boots, then you're gonna love the Heritage Newsletter by Boots By. The Heritage Newsletter is the only newsletter dedicated to men's heritage style. Every Thursday evening, we send out an update from the best publications on the web, plus top creators in the heritage fashion space. I have a link in the description below. Make sure you sign up for the Heritage Newsletter and you'll get the next issue on Thursday night. Now, looking at the last, these are the different shapes of the boot, and all four of these brands have really Really unique shapes, different lasts. So that's one reason a lot of people like to shop with these four brands because they're getting something that not many other people get to wear. First, you have the Truman. This is on the 79 last, and this is a really unique shape. The instep is pretty flat. It's a little bit wider around the toe box, but really, I think it's the best mix between like the stubbiness, the bulkiness of a Red Wing, and then how like the Thursday Captain is so slim, so narrow. I think the Truman 79 really blends those two and makes like the perfect heritage style boot. It's not so big and bulky that it looks like a work boot, but it's also not so narrow that you feel like you're a J. Crew model from 2002. Then you have the Grant Stone Leo Last. That's what the diesel is on. The Leo Last has a very low instep, very 
flat, it's fairly wide, but it has a nice almond shaped toe. To me, Grant Stone and the Leo Last, this is probably the most versatile shape in terms of you could go casual or you could go a little, it could even fit as a dress boot if you wanted to. If you have a nice clean Horween Chrome XL leather with a little bit of shine to it, I think it even could pass as a dress boot. Of course, Parkhurst, this is the 602 Last. This is probably what makes Parkhurst a famous brand is just the shape of this boot in particular. The 602 Last is deceptive in how wide it is at the forefoot, but it still looks really slim and narrow. Parkhurst 602 is, in my opinion, the most streamlined last. It's unlike most boots that I've ever tried in that it is a bit longer, it appears more narrow, but really it's just because it's longer that you have more width at the forefoot, and that means you can still have a narrow looking boot that fits and doesn't squinch your toes together. Last, we have the Oak Street Trench Boot. This is built on their Alston Last, and I think this is definitely a modified Munson. It's very wide, very stubby, a little bit shorter. It doesn't look so stubby from the side profile, but from a top down, you can definitely tell it's a lot wider, a lot flatter than the other boots. Now this could be a great feature if you often struggle with your toes feeling crammed together, then something like a Munson last or this Alston last, that's gonna have enough room in the forefoot for your feet to spread out and you can feel comfortable all day. As for leather choice, you're gonna get the most options with Truman just because they have the most off the wall selections. So you could find boots that are gonna be powder blue, green, any color basically that you want. Truman, they do a really good job at doing small limited releases where you can get all sorts of wild different leathers. So in that way, Truman Boot Company stands on their own. Now looking at Grant Stone, Grant Stone has a lot more traditional options. I have the Crimson Horween Chrome XL. I'm also right now wearing the Natural Chrome XL. Grant Stone, they're not really like a full play it safe brand, but they do have probably the widest selection of just like straight and narrow, like brown leather standard boots. And so for that reason, I really like the fact that Grant Stone, they use top notch leathers. They have a good selection of the basic stuff that you want, plus some fun things that you might want on a limited release that you might wear once or twice a week. Now Parkhurst boots, they don't really tell you much about where they get their leather from. I believe it's all from like local Spanish tanneries. They manufacture their boots in Spain. So I think they just use local leathers for that, although I'm not entirely sure. This right here is the Allen. This is in a waxed suede. This is a really nice leather. So even though Parkhurst doesn't necessarily like mention the tannery specifically, this leather is pretty rock solid, it's pretty good. So I think if there was just more marketing done around this specific tannery, it would be worth putting the name of it. However, I, there's just not, I don't know. So I don't know what, tannery this is from. And then we have Oak Street and they're unique in that they specifically only use Horween leathers. And I think that's really cool because Oak Street, they're from Chicago. Horween leather is from Chicago. So it's kind of like a full Chicago boot. It's as Chicago as putting a tomato inside of your hot dog. Of course, all these boots are at slightly different price points and that's definitely gonna affect the value for money. I'm gonna round up for a lot of these numbers. So if a boot is like $380, like the Grand Stone, for instance, I'm just gonna say it's $400 for the sake of ease. So Truman boots, they're generally generally between $400 to $500. Grant Stone, their boots are generally about $400. Parkhurst, they're anywhere between $350 to $400. And then Oak Street Bootmakers, those are right around $500. Now, as you probably know, these brands are really popular, so you can't always get the kind of boots that you want. Truman has a lot of limited releases. Now, they have some very popular boots that go out of stock pretty quickly. So if you see a Truman boot that you like, it might not be there the next week. So that is encouragement to like get that boot then if you really want it. Truman also makes some wacky boots that are just out for a very limited time and then they're gone forever. I think they had like a powder blue boot that I mentioned earlier. And once that thing's gone, I don't know if they're ever bringing it back. Grant Stone is the best at being in stock on their boots pretty much all the time. So in terms of keeping consistent stock and availability year round and a wider variety of sizes, Grant Stone is definitely the champ there. While Parkhurst is the most favorable from a price perspective, they probably struggle the most in terms of availability and different sizes. With Oak Street, they've been doing a lot more limited releases. So that's always cool to see a brand go into that because they're making super unique boots and super high boots. Their staples like the trench boot, those are generally in stock. I haven't seen these be out of stock too often. So if you're looking for an Oak Street, they generally have it in stock in your size. But before I get into the poll results, I wanted to go over just my personal opinion on which of these boot brands that I like the most. For me, the brand and the boot that I wear most often is the Grant Stone Diesel. I love how simple this boot is. I love how versatile it is. It's a very classic leather. There's nothing outrageous about this boot. It's just really high quality materials and it's really well made. My second favorite boot here is the Truman 79. This is a really cool shape of this boot. I think it's a bit more unique than the Grant Stone Diesel. And then of course, this is on the Java wax flesh leather, which as you can see is starting to look really, really cool. And it's starting to show a ton of character. In terms of construction, 
construction, super well done. It's a comfortable boot, and I'm sure I'll get another Truman boot sometime in the future. After that, in my third spot, I do like Parkhurst. I think the finishing that is on this boot is really phenomenal. And overall, the last shape of this is super unique. This Parkhurst 602 last is famous for a reason. That's because it does kind of elongate the foot, and I think that is a really cool feature on a boot so you can get a slim, stylish look without it being uncomfortable. And then, while I do really like the Oak Street Trench, I'm just not a huge fan of that wide toe box. Now, I don't struggle with squinchy feet, so having this wide, flat, kind of Munson-style toe where it's quite wide and stubby, that's just not something that I personally need or that I like. And so this style ends up being a bit too wide for my personal taste. That said, I do love the natural Horween Rough Out Chrome XL. You can already tell it's looking really good. You can see that I do wear these boots fairly often. So that's one thing I want to kind of put perspective on is that while Oak Street is kind of at the bottom of these four for me, I still wear these boots very often, at least once a week. And that's because all four of these boots are like at the top tier of all the boots that I own. And it turns out my personal opinions are pretty closely in line with what you guys put in the poll. So onto the poll results with 884 responses, 54% of you said Grant Stone. If you could only pick one brand, you'd pick Grant Stone. So Grant Stone is the winner of this roundup. Now, 30% of you said that Truman was your number one go-to brand. And then between Parkhurst and Oak Street, these were both tied at 7% of respondents saying that if they could only choose one brand, they would either pick Parkhurst or they would pick Oak Street, 7% each. Now, if you wanna see my favorite boot brands right now, then check out this video right here.